Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy this psalm to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I'm offering this video not so much to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation. Find your own calm and peace in God's work. Psalms are wonderful for this, for this meditation, to slow down and read it over and over, to strengthen you as a Christian. So, let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm I'm going to be looking at today is Psalm number 39. And let me pose this to you before we start looking at what he says here, David. I'm sure you know the expression, hold your tongue, or if you have nothing good to say, don't say anything. If you have truly done that, you may understand the difficulties associated with keeping your tongue silent. David addresses some of these issues that you yourself may encounter when you take this advice. In the beginning of the psalm, he makes a promise to guard his ways, not to sin with his tongue. This is good advice, but how does doing that affect us? Well, it affected David by him refraining even from good and his sorrow getting even worse, his heart getting hot. He's upset. He's angry. His thoughts swirling around to increase that fire. Have we felt this? Have we let anger and sorrow build up inside us? Have we gotten to the point where David did here, asking the Lord to let us know how many days we have left in this world? There's a line here. Our days are hand breaths. Listen to that word, hand breaths. Short breaths are our lifetimes when we consider God's eternal existence. Then David uses that word, sila, which has been translated to mean a pause if it's a song to take a breath. And here to meditate upon, it's inviting us to take a breath, to take a deep meditative breath, to think on this, to change this built up frustrated state. David explores man's life further once he's taken this breath, once he's stopped to think. Our uproars about life's problems are for nothing. We are phantoms, amassing riches that are amounting to nothing. You can't take it with you, right? So what are we waiting in this life for? For that we put our hope in the Lord. We ask him to deliver us from our transgressions. We ask him to not let us take it out on the foolish. If we don't open our mouths, it's because God's given us the strength not to. Then David asked the Lord to remove this plague from him. Remove the punishment he is receiving by being in this world and seeing its unfairness. He is acknowledging God and God's power. It is God who can consume us as a moth is consuming what is precious to him. He will do this to us if, if we continue on this path. We therefore need to be humble because we sin. And even though God loves us, he can consume us like a moth consuming what he values. We are a mere breath. And then we have the word. Sila again. Pause. Take a breath. He ends with a prayer, a prayer we may use when we are in this state ourselves. 
asking God to acknowledge us, we who are strangers with him because of our iniquity. David asked God to take his gaze from him for just a little while so again he can smile. This is a tough psalm. It's for a tough time, but it is a good meditation to have when we feel the stress and the anxiety and the pent-up sorrow and anger. That Maybe just, God, look away while I'm in this bad state and let me take a breath. Let me smile. Sila. Acknowledge. And then pray to you, God. If you enjoyed this psalm, please consider hitting the thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page and you can receive notifications of our live streams of our Sunday morning worship services. We had also do live streams of our Sunday morning Bible studies. And we have an additional Sunday evening service that is streamed at 6 p.m. with our minister, Mark, giving another lesson and offering communion and everything. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.